Aloha YouTube, this is Clueless, and my siren took three days to solder. Um, my only advice is if you're just starting out, and you're nervous, and you're kind of scared to get started, just do it. Just It's going to be a mess, but you're, the experience is going to what's going to make you so much better, and you're going to have so much confidence, and then you're just going to be soldering before you know it. So, good luck. Uh, this is the, the soldering practice parts. You find the uh, DP1, so that's the slot for the uh, diode, resistor, the uh, surface mount, and you got the capacitor. Those ratings on the capacitors, and you should be good to go. So, potentiometer into R10. I think you're supposed to wet the tip. Wet the tip. get it in there. When I started, I was really, really nervous and Would my it? soldering was terrible, but after, you know, doing this exercise, by day two, I was already showing immense improvement. I'm going to start with R1, going down to R10, and this is on page 30 of the, uh, exercise. The uh, reading has different values, obviously things have changed, components have changed, so those are the ones that you want to use, the ones with the part list. So, bend it, heating up the connection. The soldering iron that I'm using in this exercise is not the one that Penn Foster sent me. I already have a replacement coming in the mail. They're really good if you get any practice kit that's missing a component or oh, an item doesn't work. You just go. let them know and they send you a new one, no cost to you. That was really nice. That just felt really easy. They're in there. Hopefully they've got decent connection. Mount our IC socket. It's an integrated circuit. Um, this is one. You want to line up the indent with the indent here. This is one through four, and then it wraps around to eight. Uh, this will go inside of the integrated circuit socket. Again, the indent is right there. Get that in there. Flip it over and solder. Hey, thanks for tagging along while I do my soldering exercise. Um, I burned myself. I'm going to continue with part two tomorrow. Tune in and good luck. Ten microfarad uh, capacitor. Put the negative lead, which is the shorter lead, like away from the positive. I've soldered uh, five electrolytic capacitors into C1, C2, C3, C4, C6, and the uh, ceramic 0 0.022 microfarad uh, capacitor into C5. It's not, it doesn't have polarity, so you can install it either way. Here we go. This is the collector emitter base. Emitter's on the left side, collector's on the right side, flat side facing forward. So it's gonna go in right like that. Transistor uh, here, and then here's the other, for the other transistor, E, C, and this is my heat sink. I'm just gonna clamp it. Red, green. And then remember, a uh, shorter lead is your negative side. There's a flat line denoting the negative lead. Soldered in there. I made them really tall so they stand out above all the, uh, of a line here and then um, an image of a closed circuit here. So I'm, I'm guessing that this is on and this is off. So, um, I don't think it matters though. I inserted the IC mount uh, earlier, but this is it in order.
All right, so it's day three, and I'm looking at looking at this, and realized that I installed my transistor backward. The video is going to be edited, obviously, so you don't make the same mistake I did. So I'm gonna fix that before I continue. Desoldering practice in here. Probably should have uh, put a heat sink on this. All right, so my desoldering went pretty badly. Um, rather than continue, I think I'm just going to clip the uh, leads and just re reinstall them the way they should be. Uh, I just feel like I'm gonna destroy it. I don't know. So I clipped transistors. So now we install the speaker. Do the same for the that right. I've installed the uh, speaker and the 9 volt battery and then I think Make sure it's off. Look up the 9 volt. Alright, doesn't work. Alright, so I've turned it off and the battery got extremely hot. Uh, now I've got to just test and see what's going on. Hey, so we've made it to the end of my soldering exercise for mod 3. Um, I've st already started working on my practical exercise for mod 3, practical exercise 3 for practice kit 3, and it's this resistor, R6, if I move it just right, it's got a weak connection, so when it's on it doesn't work, but when it's off, it has the oh. and I'm also going to continue on my practical exercise so thanks for watching